Hello friends, how are you all doing? All of you doing well and all of you are feeling safe at home. Uh, well, this here is the Pure 350 e-Trust and this is a bike from uh, electrical uh, bike and two-wheeler manufacturer Pure EV. We've already shown you a walk-around review of this uh, bike before. So if you haven't checked that out, you can check it in the description box below. The link is over there. And if you want to check out the Hindi uh, video of that bike, uh, of this bike rather, you can also check out the link in Hindi. That's also available on my channel. Now, talking about this bike, uh, this one, as you all know, comes with a 3.5 kilowatt hour battery. That's why it's 350 in the name. Uh, and the reason why we're standing here in the middle of a park with all this greenery around us is simply to drive home a point that if you don't shift to EVs now and today and very soon, uh, then chances are that in the distant future, we might not have too much of greenery left because uh, at the moment when you're shooting this uh, bike, uh, you know, the temperature is around uh, 38, 39 degrees and it's only the middle of March. Normally in March, you have very pleasant temperature. The air is really nice and cool, but already we're seeing temperatures which we normally have in middle of April or May. So guys, uh, global warming is well and truly here. Stop using that petrol and diesel powered bike or car and shift to EV technology. And if you want to shift to EV bikes, then there are very few options out there. Very limited options for you and this is one of the few options out there so that's why we'll take this bike for a spin today and we'll talk about uh, its riding posture its comfort the overall seat comfort as well as the suspension comfort as well as the overall performance my name is Ashish Masi watching me in Auto Portal if you've come here for the first time then please subscribe to this channel and uh, definitely shift to green and shift to pure EV sooner than later let's get started with this video Well, so before beginning this video, let me just show you how to start this bike, how you should, uh, you know, start rolling it off. Uh, all you need to do is like a regular bike, just switch on the ignition. Once it's on, uh, you'll see this over there. The display looks nice, even in a hot and summery day like it is today. It's quite clear to see. Then, of course, there's the engine kill switch, which you have to turn on. And once you do that, the bike is ready to go. All you need to do is choose which mode you want. You want one, two or three. One, of course, is city mode where you get uh, less top speed, but better range. Two, of course, is crossover mode, which is a mix between city as well as uh, performance. And third, of course, is pure performance mode or thrill mode, where, of course, you get uh, better top speed, 85 kph, but range drops down. And all these modes are visible over here, so you can see uh, what mode you're riding this bike on. And, of course, once you choose the mode, whichever mode you want to choose, then it's as simple as easy peasy. All you need to do is just roll or pull this uh, accelerator pedal or that accelerator handle, rather and this bike just takes off. It's an EV, so performance and acceleration is brisk. Uh, but let's talk about all those things once we get on the road. This was the way it starts off, and uh, I'm telling you, it's easier to ride than even a pure uh, petrol bike. And the reason for that is because when you start a petrol bike, first of all, you have to get up, check which gear you're in, figure out if the you know gear is in the neutral or something else, press the clutch over here, then put that ignition button on. And in case there's low battery, then of course you have to kickstart it. So those are all the jamelas uh, of a regular petrol part bike, which you don't have to get in uh, EV. Peace of mind factor really is very good when it comes to EV bikes and uh, Pure EV really is one of the leaders in this technology. So let's get on the road and start riding this bike. But of course, remember, always wear a helmet. Inside a car, always belt up and on a bike, always wear a helmet before you go off on a ride. Well, so after seeing how we start off this bike and how we roll it off the line, now let's talk about the performance of this bike. Well, as we all know that electric vehicles, be it cars or bikes or scooters or scooties, all have instant power and torque available. So you don't need to wait for that 2000 RPM or 3000 RPM to kick in on the rev meter before you get going because everything is instant. And in that sense, the performance of this bike truly is exceptional. You might be in city mode, you might be in crossover mode, or you might be in thrill mode. Performance is available in bucket loads and it is instantly available as well. What you truly like about this bike is, of course, the fact that there is no rattle from the battery. Unlike a lot of other bikes where the battery is uh, always rattling and can be very irritating on uh, journeys, in this one, the battery is very well sealed together with the entire drivetrain. And that means that there are no rattles, there are no sounds and there are no noises to irritate you when you're driving or riding from home. To your office or maybe for that important meeting now apart from the battery which is really very well 
insulated with the entire system. This bike also is very good for comfort as well as stability. Yes, the overall suspension setup of this bike is really nice and the hydraulic setup both in the front and the back really works wonders for comfort. So you might be taking this bike out on a badly passed up road. You might be going over rumble strips. You might be negotiating those badly made speed breakers. Wherever you take this bike over from, you will not feel those jhatkas and you will remain very comfortable on this bike. And stability also is a very strong point of the pure EV350 e-trust. The reason for that, of course, is that when you ride this bike on the highway, maybe you're doing speeds of 70 or 80 kph, this bike feels very stable, very reassuring, and even at those speeds, you will never feel unsafe and unsecure because the ride comfort and the ride confidence is so good. Yes, this is one of the few bikes which really does ride with a solid sense of authority and a solid sense of confidence. Now, talking about the overall seat comfort and the overall sitting geometry, you'll really enjoy the overall cushioning on the seat. The padding is very good and you'll also enjoy the overall sitting posture because uh, the handlebars are easy to reach. And if you ride this bike for long journeys, maybe a couple of hours in the city, you're going from meeting to meeting, even then you will not feel tired. Even then you will not feel irritated because you'll be sitting so comfortably. In fact, you'll really enjoy the overall maneuverability of this bike as well because as I said before, it is a light bike because it doesn't have an IC engine, which means that if you have to maneuver it in town traffic, if you have to take it out on the highway, if you have to negotiate a lot of U-turns, then maneuvering this bike is completely hassle-free and something which will not tire you out at the end of a long day. That's another big boon of the pure EV e-trust 350. Apart from this, what you can also enjoy about this bike is the overall build quality and as I said, the overall plastics are very good. The turn indicator, the small switch gear, everything really does feel like it's made from high quality materials. And the best point is that the LCD display really does look very good. It's also very accurate when it comes to the battery reading and it'll just tell you how much battery is left without any fuss whatsoever. Now, if you want to charge up this bike's battery from zero, then it takes exactly six hours to do that from your home socket. And that's about good enough time for 140 kilometers range on the city mode. Now, a lot of people say that these different modes don't really work and they're actually gimmicks. But in honesty, these modes really do work. And a lot of you will really enjoy the thrill mode. If you are someone who lives in Delhi and has to go to Gurgaon and you get that little patch of highway over there, or maybe you live in uh, Delhi and you have to go to Greater Noida and you get a little bit highways usage over there as well, you'll really enjoy using the thrill mode. In the thrill mode, the bike touches a top speed of 85 kph and performance really is very good because there aren't any gear shifts to change. There aren't any time losses between the performance from the throttle movement to the torque delivery and the power delivery is really very good as well. Yes, you can generally touch top speed of 85 kph, but remember, on a lot of highways, the top speed has been limited to 70 or 80 kph. So always maintain speed limit, which has been given by the authorities and by the government, because these are things which are meant for your own safety and your well-being. So keep these things in mind and ride the bike with utmost caution as well as safety. And always remember the rules of the land before you take it out for a spin. We'll stop the bike now, give you a brief uh, look at a 360 video of the bike, and then give you a summary report of why you should consider buying this bike. Well, so in today's video, we found out that the Pure EV350 e-Trust is a very good bike in terms of comfort. It's very light, so it's easy to maneuver around town traffic. It's also got a very good suspension setup, which means that all those jhatkas, all those badly passed roads, nothing will trouble you when you're riding this bike. And performance also is very good. Whichever mode you choose, performance is available in the loads. So in real world conditions, it really is going to be a very easy bike to ride, a very hassle bike to ride. And of course, being an EV, means that once you buy it, there's no kharcha. You don't have to put any more money into it in terms of fuel or that maintenance cost. So it really is going to be very affordable as well. So what I'm trying to say is that even though we don't know the prices as yet because uh, they haven't been announced, even then, uh, you should definitely keep this bike on the top of your shortlist in the market for a bike which is electric. If you want an EV bike, then definitely keep this on the top of your shortlist. It really is very good and I've really enjoyed riding it all day long today. It's so bye for now and thanks so much for watching.